It's nine four seven weekends with Mamu Hao, and you know I always keep you in the loop as to what to put on your watch list for your weekend. And one show that has been one of the biggest on Netflix, it is local and it's also attracted a lot of attention globally as well, is The Ultimatum South Africa. So we've just seen the reunion episode aired last night. And listen, if you thought the, the, the season itself was wild, I mean, boy, are you in for even more on the reunion. If you are a little late to the party, though, The Ultimatum is it's a reality TV show. It's hosted by Salamina and Hausa Musese. And it's a bit of a social experiment, right? So you have six couples. One person in the couple wants to get married and the other doesn't. They, they then end their relationship and they choose a different partner from the experiment to live with in a trial marriage. After that trial marriage, they go back to the original partner for another trial marriage. So it's essentially a six-way partner swap. And I am talking sparks flowing. I'm talking wild attractions and even some betrayals as well. Now, in studio today, we have someone who saw it all heard it all, and went through the process herself. One of the cast members, Siza Tamini. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to 947. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yes, gosh, it's such a crazy experience that you've just come out of. Uh, you came onto the show with your partner, Lindile, but of course we only see from the show onwards. Yeah. Give us a backstory. What's the story of your relationship together? So, okay, um... I mean, we started off as friends and neighbors. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, we gravitated towards one another. Mm. I used to confide in him. He used to confide in me. Like, we talk. I thought he was going to be my male bestie. <laughs> <laughs> you but, took him out of the friend zone. Yeah, but no, definitely. He, he wasn't having it. He, he was like, like, I would say, hey, friend. And he'd be like, no, I'm not your friend. Like, okay, what are we? Oh, who are you in my life? He's like, I don't yeah. know, but we'll see. I'm not your friend, definitely. <laughs> Ooh, okay, a focused man he was yeah. from the beginning. Yeah. So we see in the show, you know, you guys had only been together six months, which was, you know, the shortest relationship time span on yeah. the show. And you'd also said that he had started talking about marriage three months in already. Mm -hmm. What was your reaction to that? Because, you know, generally three months is very, very quick to get married. True. I mean, um... I don't I don't wanna sound cocky or anything. No, but, go ahead. Uh I've heard like my exes who would say, We wanna marry you, we wanna marry you. Mm. And I'd be like, ah, no, like I'm not no, I don't I don't even know if I wanna get married. Yeah. Um so when it came to Lindy, I was like, I don't wanna get married now, but I would definitely marry you, but maybe not now, you know? Sure. And he was like, why not now? What are you waiting for? You know, even when we were friends, he used to say, like, you're such an amazing person. Yeah. If I were to date you, I'd marry you. I wouldn't even waste your time. Be like, but I want to date. I want to be with the girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, no, you can't be. You've been somebody's girlfriend for pri probably like a long time with whoever that you were dating. But right now, I think I want to make you my wife. Sure. Well, he definitely stayed true to his word. Yeah. How did you guys then end up going on to the show? Because so with the show, you have three options, right? You either get engaged to your partner, mm -hmm. you leave with a new partner, or you leave alone. Yeah. And all of those are very scary options. So what, what made you decide to do this? I mean, he was, he said to me, you know what, you've been saying no. And you think I'm joking. So <laughs> I am going to ask you to say no or yes on TV. I'm like, wow. why? And he's like, no, because I don't, I don't think you take anything seriously. You don't take life seriously. Yeah. And he's like, I want you to know that I'm serious and I, I need you to be serious. Sure. And yeah, that's how we ended up going to the show. So, and it, it's so true because, you know, you, you go into the show, you're essentially agreeing to put all of your business out there to have your, your entire relationship on the world stage. I mean, it's on Netflix, it's airing globally. So for you guys, it was more of Lindile, uh, you know, trying to show you just how serious he was about marrying you. Yeah. Were you not scared? What was going through your mind? So um, I'm mostly in my own bubble generally life. I mind my own business. Yeah. I don't like interact with a lot of things. 
Mm. So I felt like, you know what, um, let me allow myself to be challenged for a change. Uh-huh. And I was like, okay, let's do it. Also, I didn't think it would, obviously, I didn't think it would go the way that it went. I thought, ah, man, I love this man. And what I'm going to do there is just to prove to him that I love you. Just because yeah. I'm saying I don't want to get married doesn't mean I don't love you. you know? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. But obviously part of the, the show, an integral part of the show, is then being paired up with someone else. So yeah. how open were you to the possibility of, you know, potentially finding someone else on the show? Okay. Firstly, I didn't think I'd find anybody. Yeah. Um, also, even when we started with the speed dating, I wasn't connecting with anyone. Um. I thought until after Lindile said, hold your feelings, whatever, you know. <gasps> yes. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm going to dive into this. And whoever picks me, whoever is for me, I'm going to just give them a chance. Yeah. And give this thing a chance. Yeah. True. That was the, a big moment, you know, before the I show know. even aired. The trailer <laughs> dropped on the socials and we see you and Lindile talking. And he says, yeah, can, um, can we please refrain from calling each other baby? Yeah. You? I was like, ha. Yeah. Do I think um, from a viewer's perspective, mm. I would understand why they're feeling, how they're feeling. Um, also in that moment, I was also heated. Uh, although I'm not good at <laughs> shouting. and um, Yeah, you said you're a soft girl. Yeah, like I just felt like, okay, cool. You say this, cool. I'll just focus on my own journey and we'll see. So, um Lindile, when he was saying that, I'm not, I mean, I'm sure at some point he will speak for himself. Mm. But um, when he explained to me, it's like, he knows how emotional I am. Uh, if you say to me, like, for example, if I fall and somebody comes and they're like, no, you fell, then I'd cry. I'm like a baby. Oh, shame. <laughs> so he knew. So you're once very was, empathetic. Yeah. Once I start talking about how much I love him, but probably have gone on and on and although I wish in that moment he could have just assured me that everything's gonna be okay mm. you know yeah because it's a lot it's a lot emotionally. definitely yeah, yeah and it's not an easy process so I think yeah from a viewer's perspective as well I think you know it's definitely justified that you would have wanted that in yeah. the moment but as the process goes on so you end up pairing with Ngadeko mm-hmm. and Lindile pairs up with Tabi mm-hmm. And as time goes on, we then see, you know, each of your relationships just blossoming. You are forming this beautiful, you know, very strong looking connection with Nkateko and Lindile with with Tabi. And we see Lindile actually say in the show, you know, he's falling for her. He's falling in love with her. How did that feel? How did it feel seeing your partner, you know, form a deep connection to someone else? Did it cause any trust issues between you guys? Um... Let me, so I, I had heard from other people that yeah. Lindy Le Singh is in love, right? During the show now. During the show, yeah. yeah. So I, I really wanted him to be the one coming to me and say, hey, you know, I'm actually in love with someone else now. Yeah. Because you can't be in love with two people. That, mm-hmm. Well, that's what I believe. Yeah. So I would, I was like, I would believe it if he were to say it to me. So I only saw it or just heard it from his own mouth when I was watching as well. Because mm-hmm. he never really, every time I asked him about it, we like, no, I developed some feelings. And I feel like those are two different things, being in Definitely, love yeah. and having feelings for someone. So he never really said to me, he is in love. Um, so <laughs> when we talked about it, even after watching it, he's saying he was probably just carried away with, Mm. whatever but yeah he wasn't in love yeah but you know during the trial marriage your first one now we also see you you know develop this bond with Nkateko yeah you develop feelings for him during the process I mean of course I mean it's quite clear (laughs) (laughs) um it was very the, cute to watch, I might add. It was oh, like, you yeah. romance for days. No, that's just me I think um I love loud I love very like, I don't mind PDA. I just, you know. Yeah. Um, however, let me just clear, like, let me just clarify something. Um, the experiment, it's accelerated, right? Of course. Yeah. So you get to spend three weeks with somebody. 
you wake up with this person. It's bre- probably eat breakfast together. Mm. Gatok and I had lunches together. He would pick me up from work, drop me off. Sometimes just come randomly for a lunch, whatever. Mm. You know, so we spent more time together. And he, it's hard. I don't think it's easy for a person or normal human being to have somebody that's there for you, who caring for you and showing you mm-hmm. that I want to be there for you and not develop even a single feeling yeah. of some sort. No, I don't No, It was not going to be possible. I think he made sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was just making sure that um, he is going to treat me well yeah. to a point where even if I didn't have any feelings, I developed them. Of course. Yeah. I mean, the, your your fondness for each other definitely came through, even, th- you know, through the screen. Mm-hmm. Um, post-reunion now, we know that you guys, you know, didn't end up together. In fact, I mean, in the last episode of the show where you need to decide, where you, you know, the partners need to decide whether they're going to propose or not, you and Ngadeko both chose your original partners. Mm-hmm. Having developed this beautiful bond with him and having developed these feelings in, you know, what you say is this accelerated pro- process... Why didn't you choose him? I mean, there's a difference between developing feelings, like I said earlier, and being in love. Mm. And, I mean, it was all rosy and green between us and Kateko, but there are things that I've identified personally that I thought, nah, this is not yeah. going to work for me, you know? But other than that, um, I think... Once I have this thing in my mind, once I've actually fallen in love with someone else, it's hard for me to actually get over over them. Mm-hmm. So I couldn't get over Lindile and just focus on Gatek. Uh-huh. Although I tried by all means to be present in the moment and just allow Gatek to be, you know, the man in, in that space. Because remember, we the experiment says you need to break up with the person that you came to the show with. Yeah, it's a very quick. Test. You guys are referring to each other as my ex. And it's like, sure. Yeah, because I mean, in that three weeks, that person is your ex. Yeah. And you now have to have a trial marriage. It's not a trial relationship. It's not a trial date. It's a trial marriage. Mm. You need to be in a moment where you are now being each other's husband and wife. So... And as much as you have the other person at the back of your mind, mm. you still owe the other person to be in the moment and be present because nobody there came with the people that they don't love. Of course. They, we, I mean, I know I loved my man. Mm. So I wouldn't just... And I know Ngateko clearly loved Kanya or felt something for her or whatever. Yeah. But they are, you can't just bring people and pretend like it's just, we're not acting. It's not acting. Mm. It's, you need to be there. You need to be present. You need to be in the moment with the person that you are with. Yeah. yeah. And I think, you know, that's what I kind of loved about your story um, within the series is just, you know, you are this bubbly, very, you know, giggly, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, positive vibe, sunshine kind of person. But we also saw you be quite vulnerable with Mm -hmm. your feelings um, and just the difficulties of the actual process because it's it's not easy, as you say. No, it's so not. Um, I think once you realize or once I realized that this is real, this is happening, this Mm -hmm. is serious, um, it hit me in a way that I didn't expect it to, honestly. And I realized that, ah, man, like I could potentially lose the person that I really love. And mm. I don't know if, you know, sometimes ugh, I feel like Lindile thinks I just say, I love you, just to say it, yeah. you know, <laughs> just to be cute. But I don't think he believed that I loved him. Mm. I, I don't think he believed at that point. So it was it was really <laughs> it was really tough on me. I uh, I couldn't yeah. find a way to you know express my feelings without crying, without yeah. being too emotional. And yeah, I mean, but I'm not gonna feel like ah I'm so wrong for doing that. Like that's me. And I mean, people are different. Yeah, and the that's end of the just day. me. I'm an emotional person. If I don't cry, I laugh. If I don't laugh, I cry. That's just me. <laughs> if you don't find me bubbly, you'll never find me. Oh, no. If yeah. you'll find me 
either crying and I'll cry. But the thing about the show, right? I I think even the people that knows me, they were surprised that I cry. They know me as the person that laughs a lot. Mm. So because you are on cameras 24-7, they will follow you wherever you go. That's yes. when because I normally cry in my own space, in my own room. So now cameras are in my own room. Oh, and they're catching you 24-7. <laughs> exactly. Uh-huh. So where was I going to go? Exactly. Yeah. All right. No, I, I completely get that. So towards the, the end of the process, right, we see you and Ngateko sitting at, at a, a restaurant of some sort. And he actually asks you, um, you know, would you be open to leaving here together? Something along those lines. Yeah. But we don't get to see your answer. Yeah. What did you say? <laughs> so Ngateko's question was, if I don't, go with Lindile and he doesn't go with Kanya, yeah. would I be open to continue where or pick up where we left off? Okay. And I mean, I, I hesitated to answer that question. Oh, we saw it. It was a huge cliffhanger. Yeah, I was like, what is she going to say? I was like, okay, in my mind, I thought Lindile is no longer going to propose. Okay. I thought we will be fine. We'll be cool. We'll probably work on our relationship outside the show. But I didn't think he was going to propose. So I was like, I don't know. Um, so, like, let me, let me. <laughs> Is this because of, of you now knowing that he has developed feelings for Utabi? Well, I didn't think Lindile. Let me put it like this. Okay. Lindile did not say to me he's in love with Utabi. Yes. I never heard that or those words coming from his mouth. Mm. Never. Until I watched the show. Okay. So when we were working things out with Lindile, trying to get back to how our relationship used to be and what we wanted to be, I didn't really see Lindile as him being in love with Tabby. I saw Lindile as him pulling back because he's just realizing things about himself uh-huh. that doesn't really qualify in a way uh, him to be like a husband. Right. I see. Yeah. I think in my mind or in when we were talking, we were questioning things about ourselves. Mm-hmm. Not uh you're in love with someone else, now I don't want to be with you. I mean it could have been a different conversation if he had said to me he's in love with Tabby. Yeah. I don't think we'd be together now if Lindy Lee had said yeah. to me that he's in love with Tabby. No, he okay. just said he developed feelings, not mm-hmm. in love. So, yeah, like, no. <laughs> but I, I can imagine, you know, during that process, even, you know, if you are the person that gave the ultimatum, yeah. um, going through such a process might actually, change you say, your, yeah, your mind. Change yeah. your perspective. And I think I'm grateful that Lindy Le picked up things that, about himself that made him wonder if he'd be a good husband. Yeah. Because then he had to face them and see if he can improve. Mm-hmm. And in our conversations leading to him proposing was that, I, I, I mean, I could see improvement. And okay. I was like, good. Yeah, yeah, I was like, okay, I see you doing this and this and this. And you never used to do all of those things. You never like used to be sensitive around my emotions. Mm-hmm. So I see you doing that. And for me, I didn't take it as if, oh, you saw, yeah, now you saw me with someone else and you want me, no. <laughs> the experiment says, be with someone else, let that, your person see you with someone else and see if they can improve themselves to make you happy. Or, I mean, I think for me, the experiment did a very, very positive uh, impact mm. because I was happy with someone else. And Lindy was like, I want to make her happy like that. You know, okay. and yeah. it worked. And I also was like, each other more. So I saw him being emotionally sensitive towards Tabby. I was like, I want him to be like that. I, I love him and I know he loves me, but there's this thing that I feel like we need to improve on. And luckily enough, Ngateko was able to pick up on that thing and do it. Ty was able to pick up on whatever Lindile was dealing with and do it for him. So mm-hmm. Lindile lived up to how I wanted him to be. Hence, yes to the proposal. Sure. That's yeah. amazing. Okay. So, uh, but back to the restaurant though. Mm, mm. <laughs> you feel like I'm avoiding that question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're not going to get away with this one, Cesar. So, no. Yeah, what did you say? So, I, 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 I said to Kateko, if 
him if Lindile and I don't end up together and if he were to ask me on a date outside the show, I wouldn't say no. Okay. Yeah. Sure. I mean, say I was single, there was nobody else. And Gataka says, hey, can we go on a date? I would have loved, I mean, I think the opportunity to just see him outside cameras, mm. see if he really genuinely, that person who's always there and who wants to be with me all the time, because that's how he was. Yeah. yeah. And as you say, it is an accelerated experience. Yeah. So you're not really getting, you know, the full picture yeah. uh, of the person as you would in real life. I also, suppose. you ask yourself, is this person doing this? Because, I mean, we're on the show and he wants to... You know, impress people. Is he using me to get to his ex? Mm. Is he genuine? Is he, you know, there are moments where you feel like I can trust this person. Yeah. There are moments where you're like, I don't even know this person, you mm. know. Yeah. I get you. Speaking of uh, the person who was, you know, his ex at the time while you guys were in your trial marriages. Yeah. This was another huge talking point was uh, your relationship with Kanya, who mm -hmm. is... Uh, or was Ngateko's original partner that he came into the experiment with. And her treatment of you. So, you know, I remember this, the, the one scene where you go with Ngateko to go and to speak to Kanya. Mm -hmm. And Ngateko then leaves you there. And Kanya is, you know, she's very angry. We see her very angrily, you know, shouting all kinds of things at you, calling you names, uh, telling you to leave. How did it feel watching that back? Call it what it is. Um, body shaving. Yeah. Slide shaving. Um, you know, this, the, the thing... It's bullying. Is what it, it is. Means, yeah. it, it is. And I, I mean, in the moment when Ngateko and I were going there, I didn't think Kanya would react like that. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought she might be like, what are you doing here with my man? I mean, she still loves this person. But I thought sure. she'd give us an ear to say, hey, we're here to talk to you. We, uh, me going there with Ngateko, it wasn't to show Kanya that, hey, your man loves me. No, mm. no. It was, I was asking Ngateko, can you please just tell her that I, you are in this process because you guys decided to come here. Mm. And can you please, please ask her to stop slut shaming me mm. and body shaming me because... I'm not doing anything that anybody else is not doing. Mm. I mean, it's a very good point. You are all going through the same experience together and you are all with each other's partners. Yeah. So as much as we all, you know, may deal with things differently, I mean, that kind of behavior, it was it was very unsettling to watch and, and seeing you, you know, going yeah. through that. Do you wish you had stood up to her more in that moment? You know what? Um, it's, it's, I, I, I don't, hold any person who was on the show to a certain standard and say you have to behave like this or you have to speak like this but I feel like she could have been however she is without insulting me she doesn't know me mm. to that level um she doesn't I mean the the but funny, the fatty boom boom, I don't know, I kind of like it. <laughs> <laughs> I see you you embracing it yeah, on, on social no, media. No, because like I am a fatty boom boom. If you, you know, I like, I don't, I don't, I don't wish to be skinny. Yeah. I don't know because I, I, I've i lost weight and I know how I look like when I've lost weight. I don't like it. Mm. Yeah, of course, I want to get my waist snatched and whatnot. Yeah, but my fat bum, I want to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. No, but I think there's there's so, power in that too. You yeah. know, just your self love and self acceptance as well, and even you know reclaiming, mm. uh, you know, titles that have previously been seen to be negative. But because you love yourself, yeah, and you are comfortable in your own skin and your own identity. Also, in 2023, 2024, somebody saying that felt like that was funny. No, that was when I laughed at that part. When I said, oh, my fat bum. Yeah. I was like, okay, girl, I'm glad you're not seeing my fat bum, you know? Mm -hmm. But um, once I realized that, no, this is not it. Like, this is bullying. This is body shaming. This is slut shaming. I was like, wow, I can't believe. Like, let me tell you, um, some things I would trigger to other people. Yes, Kanya was triggered by some of the things that we did with Gadok. But she also did what she did. Mm. However, I feel like for a person that was triggered, 
she should also just pay attention to what she says because it could trigger the other person. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Because um, I know I was body shamed somewhere like when I was in grade something. Um, luckily, my mom was <laughs> like, she was never that parent that will be like, oh, you know, she's like, not having it. You are, you are beautiful, you know? Yeah. And I felt like the way I trusted my mom and I loved, like, I just believed everything that she said. I embraced it. It's like, yeah. oh yeah, this is me, you know? So when she said that, I was like, okay, what's happening now? Are we not past this whole body shaming, whatever thing of course, at this yeah. point and at this level? Also, I didn't expect it coming from her, you know? Because she Gatako would speak highly of her sometimes. So mm. I, I would be like, oh, Kanya is a lady. I'm like, okay, if she's a lady, oh, that's great. Then we'd have like lady conversations. But uh, no, I didn't see her being yeah, a lady. Yeah, don't, I, we, we, we no. can't say that that behavior was, you know, particularly ladylike. ladylike yeah. No. So, but we've just seen the reunion episode. And mm. during the reunion, she actually apologizes to you okay. um she also you know posted a note on on instagram it's since deleted but uh in the note she says you know she has apologized to the people whose behavior um who she you know affected mm. uh, with her behavior did you accept her apology how do you feel about it i mean i couldn't <laughs> hear her apology uh, during the reunion now. yeah during the the reunion um because i don't know like <laughs> I just uh, it was like a secondary delivery from you know I remember every lady that said no she's apologizing I'm like oh is she mm. okay but I was like what is she apologizing for you know okay because yeah. even you know watching the show I was like even in her diaries this person had a lot to say about me and she didn't even know me mm. yeah like I feel like as a as a person who's dating somebody, you shouldn't go to a person that you don't know to slight shame them and say whatever. Mm. Especially on a show where you brought your own person. Yeah. You have to hold, if you guys were, maybe you had boundaries and you spoke about them, what to not to do and whatever, then go hold your own person responsible. Mm. Don't come and just fight the other person and say horrible things about them when you don't know them. After all of this happened and, you know, what we see going down on the show between you and Kanya, were you surprised that Ngateko still ended up choosing her? Uh, mm, okay. <laughs> 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 uh, I, I, no, 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 I wasn't surprised. Okay. I, 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 I feel like, um, I don't want to speak on behalf of Ngateko. Of course, yeah. But I feel like he is... More like me. I think that's why we clicked. In a sense that we, like, you know, we believe a lot in rehabilitation. We believe a lot in people, like, eventually seeing where they're wrong and that they can be, you know, assisted, helped in, in some way. Mm -hmm. And hence, you even hear me shouting at him saying, you want me to do your job on your behalf? You want me, you know? Because I felt like he really wanted to help her. He yeah. really wanted to have conversations with her and be like, I think the part of the reason why they came to the show was so Ngata quick and say, hey, watch yourself. This is how you are. Yes. And are you happy with this? And then maybe she will notice and say, I want to change this. I don't like myself like this, mm. you know? Having seen them now at at the reunion and and their dynamic, do you think that's something that that happened? Uh, I mean, I don't know. They were they were not saying much. Yeah. Um, they were not really. It looked like a situation that was managed. Okay. From my side, that's my opinion. You know, when somebody say, "No, let's not do this." Let's like it. It. I don't. I don't think Kanye was genuinely herself. During the reunion During episode the now. During the reunion, yeah. I, I think, hmm. or maybe, I don't know. But it, in my opinion, this is my opinion. And I'm saying it looked very managed, that situation. Okay. Yeah. Deep down in your hearts of hearts, would you still want, you know, a true and, and sincere and genuine apology for her, for how no. she treated you? 
No, I mean, I even before the reunion, I had not really forgiven, but moved on mm. from that because, I mean, it doesn't break or make me in any way, anyhow. Um, I just feel like I don't, I don't really need somebody to apologize to me for me to be okay, especially somebody that I'm not even going to see after just... No, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. She can apologize to other people that she's heard before. Got you. Well, moving on to more positive news. Now we see in the final episode, Lindile proposes mm-hmm. to you and you say yes. Yeah. Now after the the experience, what, what is it that made you say yes to him? You know, there's something that Lindile says when he is proposing right Mm. like I choose you and before the experiment before anything else if a person came to me and they said "Ah, I was with the other person but I choose you it would have been or gone differently like I've been that person who says if you're confused between two people and I'm one of them do not choose me Mm -hmm. you know but in that sense what I understood and what I understand even now is that, I mean, we grow up, right, within our families and they're bound to love us, right? Of course. Yeah. But when you have friends, when you have partner or your boyfriend or your girlfriend, they choose you. Mm. It's a choice. And the fact that it, there's a beauty in it that, you know, you meet amazing people, beautiful girls, skinny, fatty, boom, boom, whatever. <laughs> and you're like, I still want this person. Mm. Yeah, I had a good experience. Yeah, I even said I love somebody. Maybe I just I was just too excited and I said I'm in love with somebody. Yeah. But hey, if I'm being honest with myself, I choose this person. I chose her before and I still choose her now. So I chose Lindy because he chose me. Sure. And yeah, it's right what you're saying. There's such a, a, a power in that because as the show very clearly shows us, it is possible to develop a connection mm-hmm. with someone else. But at the end of the day to, you know, stand up and make a decision and say, I'm choosing you. Yeah. That that means something. Yeah, because I mean, in a show where <laughs> we are all brought together and you get to choose other people, at the end of the day, you have to make a choice. Yeah. Yeah. Very you know, you can't say I came here, but I knew I was going to live with my person. Okay, what were you doing here? Exactly. Why didn't yeah. you just do your thing with your person somewhere else? That's so very true. Mm. And post reunion now, we know that you guys are still engaged. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Let's see the ring. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Ooh, girl, you could have a huge rock on your finger. Right. Is, is that the original ring that you tied on? No, this is the second one. Um, oh, so two. Yeah. Hello. Two engagement rings. <laughs> <laughs> um, simply because the other one was, um, what is it, silver. And it has, I mean, I have like bracelets and um, what is it, uh, earrings that are silver. Yes. So it matches when I wear my silver um, jewelry. Jewelry, yeah. 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 So, um when I want to wear my, because Lindila also bought, bought me like a gold watch. So mm-hmm. I was like, but baby, how am I going to, it It looks a bit um, techy. Yeah, it doesn't match quite Yeah, nicely. so I was like, no. And then he said, no, it's fine. Let's get you a gold one. Ooh, and yeah. girl. <laughs> I love that. So you've got choices now. You can choose to wear the silver one or the gold one. Or the gold one, yeah. Ah, Yes, when I can. So now that you you are engaged, though, I mean, I remember at the beginning of the show, you had said that, you know, first of all, you're not sure if you want to get married. But if you were to, it would be when you're 40-something or even 50, you said. (laughs) Uh, And Isaac on the show, he absolutely loved that. That's my (laughs) hobby. It was in a conversation with him. Yeah. So now that you are engaged, has that changed now after the process? Are you still thinking, you know, marriage only when you're 50, so a long engagement? I think um, it changed because I feel like when our conversation with Lindila was, I, I'm scared of the change that's going to happen once I'm, I'm like I've become your wife. So... Mm. 
can we not change anything? Can I still be the way that I am? Because, I mean, you like me the way that I am. Yeah. And he said, yeah, I'm not expecting you to want kids tomorrow or to want, you know, this and that. It's a conversation that we can have along the way. Mm -hmm. But I will not pressurize you to become somebody that you're not. And I was like, okay, Beautiful. cool. So I think hopefully it's just going to be me and Lindile for the longest of time. Lindile has a daughter. So, oh, he does. Yeah. Okay. So I get to play like um, an auntie role there. Yes. Um, and I'm, I'm happy with that. Mm. Should someday Lindile say, hey, I want to stay with my daughter, I'd definitely be okay with it. Okay. However, a, bit of a, a blended would, family situation. Yeah, yeah, but I don't think we'd want um, uh, kids. Like, I'm still very firm on that. No, yeah. I, I don't know. It's a conversation probably that we'll have after. I don't know how long. Yeah. If he is, because I mean, he's also, he would change his mind sometimes and say, I don't, I don't, it's fine if we don't have kids. Sometimes it'd be like, even one. Sometimes I would want to have a, you know, a son. Yeah. Like, ah, I don't, I don't think it's going to happen. Don't keep your hopes up, but we might have that conversation someday. Yeah. I think the important thing is just to keep having the, the conversation and also yeah. I, I think it's it's such a good point that you bring up to just accept your partner yeah, um, the, way the way that, that they, they are. are yeah and also people change and people change their minds um except for the marriage part now that we've said we're getting married there's no tapping out mm. um for me or for Lindy let kill him <laughs> 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 no I, I'd kill him with slow poison um, mm. I'm just I'm not even gonna be no I'm just gonna poison him <laughs> no like I'd definitely kill him because you no know, he put me through a lot <laughs> yeah. for us to just decide to break up no um gotcha. so it's a it's a we I think him and I have just agreed that there will be moments where I'm or a period of time where I'm changing and maybe changing my mind about certain things and can he be open, you know, to mm -hmm. say, okay, you're changing your mind about this, but we can't do this. We can't do this. Same as me, you know, vice yeah. versa. So, yeah, well, we're learning each other. We're growing together. And each day I get to see the side of Lady that I really, really love. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm not going anywhere. You know, yeah. staying here. And the thing is also, you know, as you go through life, you are constantly going to be learning each other and learning, you know, and, and changing together as well. Because you're not going to be the same person that you are now mm. when you are mm. 50. So, yeah. uh, but I think there's beauty in that. Yeah. And I think it's a beautiful process. Yeah. Having watched the show back now yourself and, and the reunion, is there anything that surprised you? That came up in the show, uh, the reunion episode as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, firstly, on the, the actual show, mm -hmm. um, when we were shooting, you know, normal reality, I was, I got surprised by how, you know, Lindy Le was um, at, in the beginning. Because I don't know him to be that guy mm. who's just not there for me. I know him as, you know, the guy that, babies me all the time and all of that so um that surprised me uh and then but I you know I understood uh, eventually when he explained to me why he was like that and then on the reunion what surprised me was how like Kanye was I thought she'd come heated you know She'd mm. come with, yeah, I stand by my, like, she's usually that firm, I stand by my point. Yeah. Um, so I was just, I was surprised because I, ca I came with, hi, my new, my new, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I came with, I, you know what, I'm, I'm here, I'm, I'm not going to take it in. I wasn't going to fight with anybody, yeah. but I was going to say what I'm thinking because I always, I mean, I'm, I'm a person with thoughts. It's just that I of keep course. them to myself. Sure. So I was at that point, I was like, I'm waiting for her to say something. Like, I was really waiting. And she just disappointed yeah, me. Yeah, her, her demeanor oh, well, was very different yeah. on, uh, during the reunion. Yeah, she, she was a lot was more calm than calm. we saw her during the show. Very, very much so. Hence, I say there's management going on there. You but, think so, yeah. yeah. Maybe maybe not, hey? I mean, it's just my opinion. But maybe not. Maybe something is different. I think that's 
perhaps possible because you know after the the whole process i mean i'm, I'm sure you can attest to this that you yourself you change. have have changed yeah. so you know it could be it yeah. could be having gone through the process now you are you know still with your person you are engaged and you are just continuing on your love journey what do you think the experience did for you what has it taught you about yourself and about relationships um well one let me start with relationships that they are never perfect um that you can it's up to you both of you to improve your relationship mm. to learn one another to understand one another and that um love alone is not gonna you know help your relationship to go to higher levels you need a lot of things for it to work yeah Also with that being said it doesn't have to be hard when you genuinely care about somebody and when you love them it just comes naturally oh preach it sister yeah yeah and then about myself um i mean it's nothing what i realized about myself is that once i get to a certain i'm pushed to a certain level where i'm like i can't take this anymore I burst. Mm. Yeah. I I don't like that. But I I'm, I'm trying not to be like that. I'm trying to speak and point out things that I don't like in that moment when they're happening. I like waiting until the end and you know just burst. Yeah. And yeah. And another thing I've learned about myself is that I am so calm. You really are because hey. <laughs> like I was like I know I'm calm and I'm so but the way that I was like watching myself it's not easy watching yourself on TV hey I can imagine yeah, yeah. but we don't do that in real life you mm. know you don't have a a play by play of what your day yeah. looks like you know on so the screen So like yeah this is this me and you're like okay um I mean there are moments where you're like I should I shouldn't have done that I shouldn't have you know like I shouldn't have gone to Kenya's villa mm. in, like, that mom you know like you're like I shouldn't have gone I mean we were one we had drinks yes. and you can't expect people to just be you know mellow and whatever I mean they're not like me I'm I get mellow at sometimes <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah I think you know and just after what you have shared now mm-hmm. something that that I can definitely commend you on is just being so brave because it's it's a huge huge change it's a huge experience to go through and there's a lot going on and uh, i can imagine it's a you know a huge toll on you uh, emotionally so you know stepping out and being courageous um especially for the sake of your own love story for mm-hmm. your your person for your relationship yeah That's very brave and very courageous. I think you can be proud of yourself Thank for that. Thank you. Thank you so much. No, I am proud. <laughs> I am proud. Um that's why I don't I've watched myself so many times. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, good girl, you know. Yeah. Um so final question to you. Ultimatums now in a relationship. Yeah. You got given one? Mhm. Yay or nay? Yay. Huh. Mm. Yay. Yeah. Wait, there's something that I wanted to address. Yes, please um, go ahead. Okay, so but maybe it's fine. You know, I'm I'm at peace. Just <laughs> peace just came to me. I mean, me. feel free. This is your uh, this is your space. It, no, it literally just came back. I'm like yeah. uh I wanted to say I don't read comments, right? Mm-hmm. Um I don't know whether it's people that don't like me or people that really love me that made me go and read something on on um TikTok. Okay. Somebody saying um I couldn't stand up to Kanya, but now I went and bullied Tabi with the gift thing. Huh. Right. So That's interesting. I'm like <laughs> I think I was very clear on the show when mm. it, when I returned that gift. I wasn't saying Tabi shouldn't buy Lindy Lee gifts. Mm. I was saying can it not happen in my time with mm-hmm. Lindy, you know? I was saying whether Lindy Le bought Tabi a gift or not if Lin, if Genesis wanted to return it I would like be very much understanding mm-hmm. and I think in that moment Genesis understood where where I was you know with the gift thing imagine in your let's say not even a home because that wasn't even our home but let's say you booked a hotel somewhere you're with your person and his ex comes with gifts 
Yeah. No, I what I, is that? I completely hear you. Yeah. No. But what is what is your response then, just drawing on that that question to the fact that you were able to speak up in that moment, but you know, yeah. were silent when it came to, to Kanya? Um one, when I went to Kanya's villa, it was her space. Okay. Yeah. That's why I couldn't even say anything. Okay, so you felt yeah. you needed to just they, I don't that. care. I'm sitting. I think I shouldn't even have said that. Mm. Uh, I don't. I want to blame it, blame it on the alcohol. But I mean, <laughs> we have to take responsibility. And I'm like, I don't know why I said that. I shouldn't have said that. Yeah. In fact, immediately when she said leave, I should have just left. Okay. So hence, I didn't want to say anything. But with Tavi, she came to my space. And had I found her there, then, yeah, yeah, no, it wasn't going to be cute. I wasn't going to be the sweet Caesar, the, the cute one, the laughing one. No, I was, gonna, I was not going to laugh about that matter. Mm -hmm. You're coming into my space, like, mm -hmm. really, you know? Got you. Yeah. What is your advice to couples who, just like you and Lindile, are deciding whether you should get married, not quite sure, maybe one, one of you has reservations. What would you say to them? Go to the ultimate. <laughs> <laughs> you want everyone to go through the most. No, <laughs> it's, it's not, you know, let me, let me just, uh, you know, it's people go through the most in real life. Yeah. It just takes time for them to go through that most or whatever. But I think if it was up to me, I'd say everybody before they get married, they should go there <laughs> so that you know your part. You know, like also, let's say I'm, I'm one person. If I had kids, I'd say, um, especially if they're 18, 19, I'd be like, go out. Um, you know, you have to come back midnight. Mm. And if they decide they're not going to come back midnight, I'm like, I can't trust them anymore. Mm. You know, so going to the ultimate time is exactly like that. You're like to a person, okay, go test the waters. But come back to me, mm. you know? And if that person doesn't come back to you, they're not meant for you. Yeah. And it's hard, like any other breakup, but it's okay. It has to happen. Because at the end of the day, you have the truth and exactly. you are settled. Exactly. Thank you so much for sitting down with us today, Caesar, and wishing you and Lindy Lay the best of luck as you continue in your journey. And uh, the reunion episode is currently airing on Netflix. And if you have any uh, comments uh, that you'd like to uh, put up, uh, please tweet us at 947. Use the hashtag 947 Weekends with Mamo How. Are you ready? This, this is 947.